By 2050, the world population could reach 9.2 billion. Transport by air and road is set to double, and there'll be an estimated 2 billion vehicles on the road. We need solutions to make transport more sustainable. Now imagine a solution that's available now. Because of its unique quality, requires no new infrastructure, reduces CO2 emissions by up to 90%, and drastically reduces tailpipe emissions, can be made from a range of renewable feedstock, and can produce a higher quality diesel that allows vehicles to run on 100% renewable fuel. Meet advanced biofuels. Biofuels are not new. The idea of making fuel from plants that absorb CO2 during their growth is pretty sound. There's been a lot of debate surrounding biofuels, and maybe rightly so. Sustainability and the quality of biofuels are all important questions. That's why Neste developed a renewable diesel that is like no other. We knew that any product replacing fossil fuels had to be at least as good or even better. Our renewable diesel next BTL is a high quality fuel that burns cleaner and is thus better for engines. We also operate service stations and we were therefore very aware that the next renewable fuel had to be able to use existing infrastructure. Next BTL is suitable for all diesel engines and can use existing tanks and pumps. And this is not a test or pilot project. We have three refineries producing billions of litres of fuel used by millions of vehicles every day. Then we thought, why stop at 10, 15 or 20%? Why not 100%? Next BTL allows cars, trucks or buses to run on 100% renewable diesel. It has no blending limitations like traditional biofuels do. This is not just a theory. Hundreds of buses in Helsinki have been doing this for years. But renewable diesel was only the start. Next, our engineers reached for the skies. They came up with a way of making a renewable fuel for the aviation industry that meets all the requirements. And whilst they were at it, they also managed to produce a biopropane and bionafta used in bioplastics production. So we are taking the fossil out of fuel. But what do we use instead? From day one, we developed our renewable diesel so that it could be made from a wide range of renewable feedstock. We use vegetable oils, waste and residues today, and we're testing new materials such as algae or even straw for the future. We love waste, but hate to waste. Half of the feedstock we use today comes from waste and residues. That's the equivalent of keeping a million cars that run on 100% renewable diesel on the road for a year. Would you like to know more? Please visit biofuels2050.eu